You are you are sex seconds away from the greatest greatest hits on Urban Radio 90.7 FM. Good morning, Breakfast Club. My name is Taji and I'm a big big fan of your show. I love radio and would like to be a radio presenter when I'm older. My question goes out to all of you. What should I do to realize my dream of being a radio presenter? Well, uh, Taji, I wrote a letter to you. It took a while. It got me through so many emotions, but this is what I wrote. So, this is a letter to my younger self. Don't be too trusting, especially with guys. At 12, when some guy invites you behind some unfinished house, don't accept his offer. Because you will lose your virginity and you will regret it. Even worse, you, will remember his, you won't remember his name. But on the bright side, this experience will keep you f- off anybody who plays a musical instrument that has no value to you. You will be shipped off to India to study hospitality. There you will have a feel of self-reliance. It will be terrifying. Your boyfriend will pimp you out to Indians without your knowledge in exchange for food and alcohol. Your housemate will be mad at you for not willing to get pimped to a wealthy Nigerian student. You will move out and find your own independence, but you'll be labeled the queen of ice. You will get... You... It's okay, D. It's okay, Dan. You will get married twice and get divorced. It's okay. Being single... Being single and being in an entanglement is okay. Your first marriage will be a joke. You will find yourself married after pressuring the man to ask for your hand in marriage, then eventually tying the knot at the ages. You will not learn anything from your first marriage. It will, cr- it will be crap because you fell in love with an idiot. And sometimes that's a good lesson. Your second marriage will be even worse because it will be a wishy marriage. You will accept to live with him without informing your parents because of his persistence. You will not do a background check, which is very key. And later you will learn that he was married. That too will mess you up. You will experience domestic violence for the first time. And your dad, and your dad will rescue you because he's always been, <laughs> he's always been your superhero. Speaking of your dad, he will be your greatest critic and always, and always pushing you to do better and will be your number one fan, which will frustrate you because you will always believe that you're not good enough. You will never have a tight bond with your mother until later on in life. That's okay. You will understand why she had to isolate your, herself from you when you're a teenager. Be careful not to carry her pain. I need a break. Someone please get down a glass of water. My name is Diana Kubebe. I've heard people talking about being queens in the streets. I will show you what a real queen does. And I'll be doing that alongside the legendary Edward Crutch and Chris Sekenda. We are taking it back. So uh, let's continue on Taji. Um, uh, you will not have kids, but don't bash yourself too much about that. Having kids is not a measure of your worth as a woman. You will always be a mother figure. What with your dad away politicking and your mom becoming, trying to become a reverend, you will grow up too soon as a result. You will instantly become a mother at the age of 12 for your sisters and your stepbrothers. Be careful with whom you live with, especially your uncles and your cousins. Be ev- but everything and every experience leads you to an unexpected path in your adulthood because you will be greatly involved with charity work for kids. That in itself will bring you a lot of satisfaction. Your nieces, Bianca, Nela, Adissa, and nephew Baraza will literally be like your children. There's a guy who will leave you when you're 21 and you will lose sleep over him. That happens to the best of us. Heartbreaks, disappointments, but you won't pick up that cigarette to aid you sleep. 
Kicking a cigarette habit is going to be the hardest thing you'll ever try to do. You will experience domestic violence again. And for a period of your life, you'll be depressed because you held on to your abuser for so long. You will start drowning yourself in alcohol and no one will know about it because you're a functional alcoholic. Forget breaking the glass ceiling in the corporate world. Pick up a microphone and a camera as soon as you can because that's where your true talent lies. You will gain a lot of experience in the corporate world, but you will come out totally bruised. It's okay to ask for help. It's not a weakness. Your family is your strongest link. It's okay sometimes to say, I can't do this, or I'm going through a rough patch in my life. You are strong and often rise from the ashes, but you will need somebody to take care of you once in a while. Please ask for help when you're drowning. The most difficult part of your life will be towards the end of your corporate life as a CSR manager. It will be a beautiful time, even though you will not know which path you will follow. Ironically, your father falling sick will help you fight your way into radio. You will win awards and you will get better as time goes back on radio. Taji, my advice to you is, it's better to have nobody than somebody who's half there and who doesn't want to be there. Give, you, give yourself permission to immediately walk away from anything that doesn't give you good vibes. There is no need to explain or make sense of it. Just trust what you feel. Nothing ever happens how you imagine it. Be concerned with your character than your reputation. All the best, Taji. I hope my letter helps you. Love, Diana. A letter to Taji. A letter to their younger self. You're on 90.7 90 FM. 90 FM. Urban Radio. Radio. Feel great. Feel great. Feel urban.